MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Tacoma Rainiers and the Reno Aces. At the plate, Edgar De La Cruz. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Popped him up. Varsho over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Braden Bishop. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 2-1 home. No, that's outside. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third. Into the box now, Dom Thompson Williams. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Throw over to the bag, and late reactions, and they got him. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down oh, yeah. one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Stepping up now, Alec Thomas. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. One, one. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The third base to the plate now, Wyatt Matheson. And he misses two and one. Thomas on at first, nobody out. Good breaking ball, and it's in there, two and two now. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Won't commit on the slider, good patience, and it's full three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in, John Jay. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Weak grounder down the first baseline. He's got it. And they tag him out, but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. In now, Seth Beer. He went deep in the contest last night. He set the payoff pitch. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. That's in there. Base hit. in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. At the plate, John Hicks, two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Grounded to third. He's right there. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Julio Rodriguez. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Two one pitches, a fastball off the plate away, and it's three and one now. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up Allen Hansen. Now the 2 1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3 2. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Stepping into the box, Jake Shiner. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now the one and one pitch. No. Playing two balls, two strikes. Two out, nobody on. Fouled away. So a full count now. Dylan Moore would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Full count still. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Now at the plate, Dylan Moore, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Skied into straightaway right. Jay has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and standing in is the DH, Yusmani Tomas. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Now the three and two pitch. And he ball takes four. ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Coming to the plate now, Andy Young. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now the one and one pitch. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Three and one. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Batting it. The pitcher. Dalton. Stepping in now, Dalton Varsho. Shot toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. On to third, but he's in safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. At the plate now, Camden Duzanak. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. The one two. And this one gets away. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here now the 2-2 is laid off and the count runs full. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. And there's one down now. Digging in for his second at bat, Alec Thomas. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now batting, Wyatt Matheson. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they... Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning.
New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Joe Hudson. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. But no problem at first, and that's the first out. Into the box, Donnie Walton. Walton. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Liner towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Now that. Digging in now, Edgar De La Cruz. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Lofted in the air out toward right center. It's down for an extra base hit as they have their first hit of the contest. Jeremy Beasley is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Into the box now, Braden Bishop. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Hicks has got it, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder, John Jay. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The 1-2. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So coming to the plate, Seth Beer. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. And he takes a called strike two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Now Digging into the batter's the box next is John Hicks. A 1 1. Is a slider taken for a ball. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now back, the deputy hitter, Standing in now, gives money Tomas. Hit pretty well out to deep center field. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Dom Thompson-Williams. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Changed up on him, and he gets the inside corner for strike two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now with the plate, Julio Rodriguez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Rodriguez. 2 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin now inning back. number four. The 
Allen Hansen the next to bat. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he fouls this one off. Again, a 1 2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So striding in, Andy Young. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The one-two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Now that is Victor Gautel. Marco. To the plate now, Dalton Varsho. Ball two. Popped him up. Shiner is there. He's got it one away. Now to the plate, Camden Guzanek. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now that the center fielder, Alec Thomas. In now, Alec Thomas. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Two and two the count. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 3-0 game. He pulls into second safely as a run will score now on the play as well. Stepping in now, Wyatt Matheson. All even now, 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. In now is John Jay. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Men on third with two down. Two balls and a strike. So far this year against Southpaws, Jay brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. Matty, he struggled this season against left-handed pitching, but maybe a little shot of confidence with the manager putting him in the lineup today. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. Digging in, Jake Shiner. He drew a base on balls his first time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch the in the eighth and ninth inning. So it was a strikeout yeah, swinging. Jake yeah. Shiner is retired to lead off the fifth. Fouled off. The one and two pitch. And that's going to be high two and two now. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Moore is retired two down now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joe Hudson. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. That's popped up now towards short right field. Young ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side.
Justice Sheffield, a lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Seth Beer. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Digging in once again, John Hicks. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now so bases are empty Look here with two gone. Hitter. And that'll bring Yo, up the right-handed hitter, Yasmani Tomas. It's two balls and a strike to Yasmani Tomas. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Andy Young would be next. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3-1, and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Struck him out. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Donnie Walton. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Split fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Fly ball, not particularly deep. On the move is Jay. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Ready for now another shot now. Edgar De La Cruz. Edgar. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. The 2-2. Two -two. One out, nobody on. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. It's a fine line for working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3 2 pitch. The 1 1 home is taken for strike two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Here now, the 2 2. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A double play ball to second. Four, six, three, but it's not in time, and the inning will continue. At the plate, Dom Thompson Williams. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now back. Striding in, Julio Rodriguez. 0 for Julio. 2 from him so far in this one. Here it is on three and one. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Once again, a 3-2. Fouled away. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on now ball. Designated hitter. Next will Allen. be the designated hitter, Allen Henson. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now battle. So striding forward now, Jake Shiner, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Andy Young. Squared that one up just a little late. The next 3 2. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Standing in, Dalton Varsho. He singled and popped out in his first two at bats. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The batter, number three. Good shot. Into the box, Kendon Duzanek. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The one two. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards left center. Bishop arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. So the lineup flips now over and digging in here. Alec Thomas Alec. two for three with a double on his line so far. The two one home it is a slider that backs up for a ball. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You That's have to keyhole something middle of the plate and he misses with it ball four. So that'll load the now bases back. and now he's so really going to need to get a ground ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit on the ground to short. Scooped up. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And it's not in time. He's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. The 2 1 home. Heading out towards shallow right. Rodriguez has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he is safe at the plate as they open things further to six to one now. Ready now, Seth Beer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Beer. One and one, here it is. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Thompson Williams is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Junior Guerra is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 41. Junior. Standing in, Dylan Moore. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. In there, a base hit. The batter, number 57. At the plate now, Joe Hudson. Hit back up the middle. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. Now batter, shot. Johnny. Standing Walton. in now, Donnie Walton. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Ground ball left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit.
Now that second base. So now to the plate, Edgar De La Cruz, and it's fouled away. Ready with the one and two. Swing and a little blooper to center. And the runner from third scores as they try to work their way back into this one. West Tunnel is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. In now, Braden Bishop. Back up the middle and through into center field. A base hit. One run scores. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now back, the center fielder, Don Thompson Williams. Stepping in now, Don Thompson Williams. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Count still at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now here's a swing and a high pop up drifting into shallow right field. Young will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now that so now it'll be the four hole hitter, Julio Rodriguez. No hits Rodriguez. to this point. A ball and two strikes now. Got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now that, so a big moment here and standing in, Alan Henson. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. The 1-1. Misses, ball two. Two ball, one strike. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. As he arrives at second without a play as they also push across a score to now make it a one run game. game. Justin hey. Donatella will get the ball here as he looks to get Ladies the final gentlemen. out in the top of the seven. Now pitching for the inches, number 65. At the plate, Jake Shiner. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Here's a chopper to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Cody Anderson gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the first baseman, John Hicks. The 3-1. And he fouls this one off. 3-2 pitch. And there's a missile off the bat, but it's foul. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Yuzmani Tomas. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now batter. Digging in to try it again. Andy Young. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. High 
hot shot to third. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Silvino Bracho has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61. Silvino. Ready to begin the eighth. And here comes the first baseman, Dylan Moore. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Thomas, patrolling center, makes the play one out. Number Digging in, Joe Hudson. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set. Here comes the one one. The bouncer to the left side. And there are two away now. So digging now in back. now, Donnie Walton. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Popped him up. Varsho moving to his left. And that's the third out. Cox is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 21. Kyle. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Dalton Varsho. Two and two. Two ball. Two strikes. Full count now. Three and two. Full count. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Dalton Varsho becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Bases are empty. One man out. Here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Full count now. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. De La Cruz ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Coming to the plate now, Alec Thomas. So far, two for three in this one. Line drive to center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. Juan Lopez comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 15. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Edgar De La Cruz. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. And it's two balls and two strikes now. swing and a weak little line drive over to first but an easy play there at first as that becomes the first out of the inning into the box now Braden Bishop and he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier looking to drop one down but he can't make contact one and two Well, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. 
Oh, and no time to get him at first. Not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. Now batting the center fielder, Dom Thompson Williams. At the plate now, Dom Thompson Williams. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Quick check on that tying run at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here now the 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Stepping into the box, Julio Rodriguez. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. The 1-1. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. The 2-1 home. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they lead the possible tying run stranded at first. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States. But what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd. Makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end 6-5 to five, the final. Reno to Victoria for the 40th time this season. Jeremy Beasley gets the win in relief his second of the year. Manny Benuelos was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Yoan Lopez earns the save out of the bullpen, his 23rd of the campaign. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The final line score for our ballgame. For the victorious Aces, six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Rainiers, five runs, eight hits, two errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.